Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So today, Harley Davidson had their Q2 earnings call, and they made mention to the Hardwire. No, the Hardwire is not a new motorcycle. So if you saw the thumbnail and you clicked, I apologize, but they did mention the Hardwire as their new plan going forward. And I just wanted to go ahead and talk about their earnings call today because, well, the financial side of it, not great. And yet pretty much all the news is talking about if you find any stories on it, but there is a lot, a lot of good content here that I wanted to talk about. Now, this earnings call was over 30 minutes long. I have it trimmed down to about five minutes of content uh, just to provide a little bit of an update and maybe a little insight into Jochen Zeitz and what he has planned for the motor company. A lot of people out there are being pretty critical at this point, but I thought, let him speak for himself. Let everybody hear what the plan is. So again, this is Jochen Zeitz. Uh, he started out with just a quick uh, COVID update. We continue to face challenges during these unprecedented times, but as the rewire is implemented, I'm very pleased with our accomplishments so far. COVID-19 continues to challenge us personally and professionally. Our dedicated workers have returned to our production lines and our priority is keeping everyone safe. So really just talking about COVID and the impacts on the business, it's huge, obviously, but uh, they do have their plants up and running. Uh, he also made a, a mention that I thought was pretty interesting here. Recent events have also renewed our commitment to stand up for inclusivity and equality. I'm really happy that uh, they made this comment. It's small, but to me, it, it's important. I'm happy to see that uh, they're kind of looking at the bigger picture. We'll jump right into where he mentions the rewire for the first time. We also needed to reignite the soul of Harley-Davidson and strengthen our culture. We set out to rewire Harley-Davidson from top to bottom. He makes a lot of mentions about the culture and the heritage of Harley-Davidson, and uh, this isn't the first time I mentioned rewire. He actually basically started out as uh, the new CEO with this rewire uh, in mind. Uh, but uh, anyhow, he jumped into uh, marketing. The marketing function has been restructured to maximize our new messaging. Building on our strong brand legacy, we will shift marketing plans to put the spotlight back on the brand, heritage, and great products on events that drive true conversion on investments that build desirability. The first brand building approach will be shown in a social media campaign directed by Jason Momoa, celebrating the shared Jason journey Momoa. and unrelenting spirit of our Harley Davidson community during these challenging times and championing the positivity and freedom we all find in riding motorcycles. I don't totally understand the love of Jason Momoa with Harley Davidson. Uh, he must be doing good things for the brand. I, I don't hate on Jason Momoa. I just don't understand why Harley's really hitched their wagon uh, to that one guy. I mean, I guess Indian has Carrie Hart. Everybody has their 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 spokesperson, but uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, then he gets into the product portfolio. This is where things obviously get a little bit more interesting about where they plan on going with uh, the, the products here in the future. Our product portfolio and launches have been reset for maximum impact with a fully aligned go-to-market process. We're streamlining our motorcycle models by approximately 30% with plans to further refine our product portfolio. This enables us to invest in the products and platforms that matter the most while better balancing our investment in new high potential segments. We plan to expand our offering of iconic motorcycles cycles, those which most embody the spirit of Harley Davidson. So I'm starting to get a better I, I, a feeling, I think, on where he's going with this product portfolio. He's mentioned in a couple of the previous uh, earnings calls and, and, and the rewire mentions, this idea of going back to the core products uh, seems to be very important to Jochen Zeitz. And what I think that really means is just really getting some additional bikes out there, not just rolling out some new soft tails. It seemed to me like that was kind of where the Harley Davidson of 2018 to 2019, I don't know. And that they were just trying to get more, 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 more. And I think they're going to start trying to shrink that down. And uh, then he's going to get into uh, the Pan America here. We plan to expand our unprecedented market leading touring strength with the delivery of our first adventure touring motorcycle, the Pan America. We see strong potential in adventure touring and will launch Pan America globally next year. Now that adventure segment is is really it, it's been blowing up. Harley's actually a little bit late to the game there, so it makes sense that they're kind of jumping into that. You know, to me, it seems like the Pan America is is a definite. I think the live wire is here to stay, and that there's going to be evolutions of it, only because I've kind of researched Jochen Zeitz in his past, and he has a uh, a knack for uh, you know green and and stuff like that. So uh, it seems to be kind of like that live wire might be something he wants to try to continue on with, but. Uh, I'm interested to see, you know, how some of these other products, the Bronx, 
uh, some of these electric little, you know, more scooterish type bikes and bicycles and, and stuff like that. If he does away with that stuff, I, I think some of that stuff might be on the chopping block. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, the the one cool thing I like is, uh, I'll let him tell you here. We will be going to market with an improved launch process. Beginning with model year 21, we will shift our product launch and dealer reveal timing in, into early Q1, driving demand for products and sales for dealers at the start of the riding season. That's awesome. It sucks for us YouTubers who are uh, uh, around this time of year getting ready for the new and exciting release coming up from Harley Davidson that we all get to talk about and then go out and ride all the bikes and push all that content. Uh, not going to happen this year. We're going to have to wait till basically springtime or, you know, it's going to be kind of a late winter announcement. Motorcycles is a show me the product today, take my money tomorrow, deliver it to me the next day kind of thing. Not a uh, show it to me this quarter. I'll think about it over the next quarter. I might bring you a check the following quarter and hope to see it the next quarter. That's it, it, just too slow. So uh, I like the way that they're kind of condensing that down. And uh, I hope that they hope, hope that they find a way to bring uh, some content creators uh, out to some of these releases and do a little bit more of kind of like the Apple thing where you see uh, content creators out there getting their hands on these things from day one and getting the content out there from day one uh, in an exciting and, and, and relatable kind of way that uh, people are kind of used to seeing now. I hope that Harley kind of embraces that idea a little bit more. If they're listening, uh, please do that. For parts and accessories, we will better leverage opportunities for customizing our motorcycles at the point of sale to drive customer engagement and increase sales for us and our dealers. Hmm. That sounds similar to my idea about doing like a bike builder where you can customize your bike from the time you buy it. Not from a buy it at the, you know, buy it at the sales department and then you take delivery and then take it over to the parts department and start shopping for accessories. Uh, I like what I sort of hear here, which is getting it just closer to point of sale customization from the day that you're buying the motorcycle, kind of make it yours from day one, as opposed to buy it. And then, Oh, let me introduce you to my parts counter, which is kind of the way it is now. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'll, I'll move on. We've reset our global business to be more focused. Major changes include concentrating efforts on the highest priority markets, primarily North America with the U.S. and Canada, Europe and parts of Asia Pacific, and structuring in a way that shifts resources and marketing into the regions for maximum impact in line with our future strategy. We're evaluating plans to exit international markets where volumes and profitability do not support continued investment. And that's, that's important to hear. Uh, to me, uh, you know, Harley Davidson for the last, I don't know, 10 years maybe, has almost unrealistically tried to insert themselves into markets that um, kind of didn't want them and uh, spent probably a lot of money and resources in, in trying to establish a presence there. And I think Jochen Zeitz seems to be looking at it more like, hey, let's just try to streamline things a little bit. Uh, get better at what we do with our core market, stay in some of the international markets that do make sense, uh, and uh, not try to force things that really ultimately just end up being cash drain. So uh, I do like where he's going with that. And then uh, he gets into kind of the outcome of the rewire f so far. The outcomes of the rewire are already significant. I'm already witnessing a transformation in how the organization functions with better engagement from our leaders and a change in how we evaluate decisions, more credible expectations and more voices across the business incorporated in the process. I'm seeing better awareness of cost management and ROI and increased focus on prioritization and simplicity along with more accountability and ownership of outcomes. So, yeah, I, I mean, it sounds like things are working out pretty good uh, at this point. I'm happy with what I see, to be honest with you. I think that Jochen Zeitz is doing a stellar job uh, with the state of what he walked into the CEO tenure ship uh, under, you know, I, I don't envy him. Uh, it's a lot to deal with. And, uh, you know, he has a, a big plan for the future. I'm excited to hear about it. I was hoping to hear the whole thing today, but uh, in all reality, it's, it's ambitious and uh, it's 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 a work in progress, uh, which he mentions kind of at the tail end of his statement here. We strive to make riding the perfect remedy during these troubled times, a way to connect with our community and the world outside, to find peace 
and experience adventure as one of the few brands in the world that delivers freedom for the soul. We intend to share the first look at our new strategic plan named the Hardwire in Q4. And now I'll turn it over to Daryl to discuss the financial results of the quarter. And the financial stuff is boring, so I'm going to leave it off there. You can, again, watch that whole thing. I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, also, you know, again, I, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. There's not a whole lot of hardly content uh, relative to the brand and new things coming up. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of share the process of the rebuilding because I do think that uh, there is a ton going on behind the scenes right now. Uh, again, I do not envy anybody in a position to uh, have to do that at this point with such a valuable uh, asset as Harley Davidson. So, uh, Jochen Zeitz, uh, I, I commend you on your work uh, as of as of now, and I really hope that this whole grand uh, plan is headed somewhere uh, that's uh, going to bring the brand uh, back to uh, a, a position of financial strength and um, really more importantly, just brand uh, respect is, is, is uh, I think, an important thing right now. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I will see you guys next time.